common question of students and staff is, what is an acceptable score? Is it okay to have 10%? Is it okay to have 20%? This is really approaching Turnitin the wrong way. It's not the number of the score which matters, it's the nature of the matches. Let's look at this example. Here we have some matches right, which are not okay. This first piece is copied verbatim from this string and paper. It's had some references to Van Schendel inserted, but it in no way cites Stringham. That's not okay. But there are matches within this paper which are okay. Right? This is a match to the Scott source, cited correctly. I can go through to the full source view and see that it's Scott. So that is okay. Both of those are appearing here in our match overview. Therefore, it helps us to understand 10% can be not good if all of that is uncited copying. 30% can be perfectly okay if that's all cited correctly. Some types of assignment really require an awful lot of use of additional sources and so therefore may pick up a large set of correctly cited matches. In the broader question of academic writing, we might consider that 30%, for example, of perfectly cited matching text is okay in terms of academic integrity, but might cause us to say to the student, I need to hear your voice more, I need you to incorporate sources more, um, I want to hear more from you. But there's no such thing as a good number or a number, a match number below which you don't need to check. Check every assignment quickly.